Thank you. Um, this is exciting. We're going to try to get you all situated here, Otis. And uh, there you go. So it's really good to see you, Otis. Yes, yeah, good to be here. It's yeah, really good to be here. We're at Art Four here in Pueblo, Colorado. Well, we made it to the big time. Yeah, we did. <laughs> You've got hell of an agent. You yeah, do, don't I? <laughs> well, anyway, Otis, um, what you been doing lately? Oh, not a whole lot. To, but I did notice you're reading that Shades of Grey again. Huh. Yeah, that's true. I, have you been snooping around my Kindle? Yeah. I noticed it's not the only battery upgraded toy on your nightstand. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Yeah, uh, try, just try, try to put a little bit of zoom like into your sex life, are you? I'll have you know my sex life is like a Ferrari. Yeah, she doesn't have one of those either. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, um, oh, there's <coughs> gonna come. Hey, a Tim, what? Are you finished rereading those books? I'm finished rereading the books. Can you put the batteries back into the remote control so I can watch television? <laughs> we might have to get some new batteries for the remote control. Uh, but anyway, we didn't come out here to talk about Shades of Grey. No, really, I want to know what's it all about. What's it all about? Yeah. Well, basically, there are two main characters. Anybody here read Shades of Grey and wants to admit it? No, of course not. <laughs> there, are, there are basically two characters. Uh, one of them is Anna. She's 21 years of age, and she's a virgin. Oh, yes, yeah, so the author loses credibility right from the start. <laughs> oh, yes, there could be 21-year-old virgins. OK, maybe not quite low, but uh, <laughs> they exist somewhere, I'm sure. <laughs> But uh, what I liked about it was the story of relationships and, and, and things like that and sex and bondage and toys. Well, yeah, that too. And it should come with a warning label. A warning label. Yeah, batteries not included. <laughs> well, you see, the reason why you don't, I'm going to put your hand over here. The reason why you don't know about these things is because this book was written for human beings with human emotions and everything like that. And, I mean, no offense, but you're made out of wood, what would you possibly know about sex? You have a fear of Nordic wood? <laughs> yeah, I, I have heard that. You ever see a woodpecker? <laughs> no, actually, I don't think I've ever seen a woodpecker. Would you like to see one? No. <laughs> I should, because once you go wood, you don't go there. <laughs> I see, wood is a new clock. Is it? That's, that's good to know. Anyway, uh, the other main character in the book is Christian Gray. And Christian is a dom. A who? He's a dom. That means that he likes to have control over everything, especially in the bedroom. Oh, I see. Yeah, and if he thinks that Anna's disrespecting him in any way, like rolling her eyes at him, then it gets a twitchy palm. A twitchy palm? Yeah, because he wants to spank her. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> that's really true. Otis. Are you rolling your eyes at me? <laughs> oh, no, no, she's getting a twitchy palm. <laughs> and she's fisting me. I am not fisting you. <laughs> Otis, I have to put my fist up there. Are you sure? I'm sure. Maybe you could use two fingers for that. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to use a whole fist. I got some key lime jelly. <laughs> and, yeah, anyway. <laughs> A safe word, yeah. Okay, well, your safe word will be Peter Piper. I can't say that. Well, then my fish stays where it's at. Okay, all right. So, anyway, um, I don't even really know why we're talking about this. It's called research. Research. Yeah, I'm going to write my own best selling trilogy. You are. Yeah, it's going to be called 50 Trees of Shade. <laughs> Fifty trees a shade. Yeah, yeah it's going to be an autobiography. Really? Yeah, it's going to start out with my dad. He was a naughty kind. A naughty <laughs> And uh, how did your dad meet your mom? One day he was looking for a little ash. Uh, and your mom happens to be an ash. No, she's a leech. <laughs> Okay, I don't see what this has to do with Shades of Grey. You remember Anna? I remember Anna. Yeah, she uh, was a virgin. Yeah, because she wasn't going to go to school. That's right. <laughs> and, uh, and so, so I remember she was a virgin too. Okay? Yeah, she was raised in a virgin forest in the state of Virginia. You don't get any more virgin than that. No, I guess not. So when your dad and your mom met, what happened? My dad said to her, he said, I don't need love. 
I like to do hard. Because I'm the hard of wood, I see. And so then what would happen? So the young dad gets so excited, his limbs just start to shake. Sound us, we're flying everywhere. And then his nuts fell off. <laughs> his nuts fell off right on the ground. Right on the ground. Yep. So when you see him on the ground, he's a little sapling. It was me. That's very interesting. Dad took one look at me and he said, He's a cute little son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you knew that was coming. <laughs> oh, this, that's all very, very interesting. And I think it's about time for you to say goodbye. Yeah, because you started to get that touchy tongue again. <laughs> and I like get so excited, I might start squirting sack all over the place. <laughs> and that'd be a sticky situation. <laughs> all right. All right, thank you, Pam and Olga.